trying to I'm trying to balance out the top over there. Yeah. Anyway, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you some of the brand new features that Evoto AI has brought to the table and this time around we can feather our camera to our computer in a photo shoot and get the results there very quickly. So let's head to the photo shoot. Okay, so for the tethered example, all you need is a USB-C to USB-A cable, you connect the USB-C to your camera, the USB-A to your computer and the Evoto software immediately recognizes the camera and then you just start a new project, select tethered shooting and you start taking photographs. Now you can see the camera settings on your computer but you cannot change them, so the only way you can change them is on your camera, however you do have a button which triggers the camera to take a photograph for those photos where you have your camera on a tripod. So thank you girls for a lovely photo shoot. Now one thing that a software has to have is a simple connection to your camera. This way you can do a proper studio tethered shoot. Even though the photo shoot was for pajamas, in case you guys missed it. So I'm gonna show you now how you can create an image that is going to be used, for instance, on a website. So we're gonna have to clean up the backdrop and do some facial and body retouching. So let's open up Evoto AI, create a new project, let's say examples, because these are just examples for this video. I'm going to import some of the photographs that are going to show all the new features. And here I have the photographs now in Evoto, right down here. If you guys wanna learn more about how to use Evoto start to finish, click on the video over here where I take you through the full working process. Today I'm going to emphasize more on the new features that Evoto has to offer, but you will see the workflow as we move on. So let's start off with this photograph of our lovely model. Now the idea is to only get her on a white or even better a transparent backdrop and yes we're gonna have to do some retouching because this was done in a studio. I tried to do my best in the environment that we had because I've combined two photo shoots into one so the product photography photo shoot and the pajama photo shoot and it's really weird but I think we can squeeze out some useful and well very good images. So first of all if you're not familiar with Evoto AI on the left you have your presets the premium presets that Evoto has to offer and on the right you have the panels where you can work with Evoto AI and here what I'm going to do is first I'm going to add an AI controlled look. I typically go with the natural look if I double click you can see that there's a whole bunch of looks that you can apply and this means that the color, the luma and the saturation balancing is going to be adjusted based on these artificial intelligent control presets. I typically go with neutral because I want to have as natural image as I can. So let's start off with this and I'm going to crop the image in. So we have here a crop tool. I'm going to crop the image in because we'll just be working with our model and not with the background. So I'm going to make sure that I have her like this. Make sure I bring in the toes and the top. Click OK. And now we have just her in the frame. It's a very narrow image, but as I said, it's going to be used on a website. So technically I need a white backdrop or a transparent backdrop. But before we get into that, let's do some facial retouching, shall we? So we go here under portrait, retouching, female, so I can choose here the algorithm that is going to be used depending on the person. I can even choose like an individual person if there's more. I'll show you that in just a minute, but she's a female, so let's do the female algorithms on her. So face and acne, you can see right here if I zoom in, so if I tap space before and after, uh, quite a big difference. Body blemish, it controls the beauty of the body. I can reduce the face shine, which is quite predominant here. Because she was wearing a glossy makeup, it really reflected face, forehead wrinkles, eye wrinkles. You now this takes away around the wrinkles around the eyes. Dark circles, you can see right over here. So if I go back before and after, quite a big difference. She's not wearing glasses, so I'm gonna leave this for the second photo, which I'm going to show you. But eye bags, we all have those. So you know, it just takes them away so nicely. So this is like before and after, and it's really quick. So if you have a whole bunch of photographs, you can apply this to all of those photographs. You can even save this as a preset and have this applied to the photo when you take it on the spot. So this is a really valuable thing. Now, once you have the lighting sorted out and the composition sorted out, 
You can create a preset, take photos, and all of these adjustments will be applied to each and every photo. And you can show the client or the model the final result or something that's very close to a final result. My line it takes away the shadows around here. Neck wrinkles, double chin, stomach stretch marks. She doesn't have any stomach stretch marks. Pregnancy line, if she were pregnant, <laughs> I don't have an example of that. Beard protection. Now, if you're working on a male face, you can have the beard, you no, know, the facial hair not be affected by all of these smoothing effects. She doesn't have a beard, so I'm gonna skip this one. Then we go to the skin retouching. This is very important because you don't want to push this too far, but typically dodging and burning is something that you do on a skin or on a person's face, and it kind of redistributes the dark areas and the bright areas. So before and after, now it's a much cleaner image. Now body skin smoothing, and I can even change the skin texture. So mate, a little bit of shine, more shine. And in this case, since I have a side light, I think adding a bit of this right over here. Vodo naturally follows the lighting as it was in the scene, so it knows it has to brighten this area. And I think this one looks okay. I can change the glossiness, I can change the texture, the clarity. This one is also interesting. AI Unify Face Complexion. This means that it's going to analyze the face for different colors and kind of smooth this out. So you can see that in the original, she has a bit of you know, blemish right here on the cheeks, which is intentional. But I can simply take this away with you know, just shifting the slider all the way and now she has a unified face. In this example, I'm just going to add a tiny bit of this because I do want a little bit of red blemish. And you can also do this for the body. Now this is going to be useful because we had some shade down here. I was improvising quite a lot in the photo shoot, but I can unify the whole thing with this one slider. So you can see right over here. Now it just brightens up. It kind of matches the brightness of the top, of the bottom, of the limbs, of the head, you know, just really, really useful. So before and after, yeah. <laughs> and I can also apply this to the to the shine of the skin. So I'm just going to add a bit of this. You can see right over here, before and after. So it's a much more unified image. I can also change the color of her skin, I can make her paler, darker. I'm gonna leave this because I like the way it is. I can add some skin radiance. This is useful because it makes the person glow. If I just overdo it, you'll see what I mean. Now she's now really glowing in the light. So just a tiny bit of this. And rosy complexion is also useful if you have a very pale skinned person. So you can add this and it's going to put in a bit of redness into the skin. Kind of that under skin glow in red. Now which is necessary to make a person look healthy, you know, and not, and not pale. And now we come to the fun part, which I'm just going to show you examples because I don't typically use this, especially if I have a pretty model like you see over here. But you can literally change how somebody looks with, you know, with facial reshape, with facial expression, with oh, the body change. So I'm just gonna show you how this looks. I did this in the previous video. So again, you can check it out after you watch this video. Now I can change the shape of the face, of the head, of the jawline. I can change the face size and just like a whole bunch of things to make a person look different. Now you can find this useful if you're doing a wedding photo shoot and then that auntie comes in and says, you know, can you make me look younger, thinner, you know, more smooth skinned, you know, just change everything so that I look okay. You know, and this is a very easy way to make other people happy, not just the bride and the groom. So if you play around with this, you can, you can get some really interesting results. Facial expression, this is the one I like to use because, you know, here she has kind of a serious expression. I can just add this. Now I'm bringing a bit of a smile. You know, a tiny bit of a smile brings you a long way. So again, before, and after, I mean, clearly, it's quite a big difference. Now you can make the teeth wider and shinier and even prettier. Here she doesn't show any teeth. And you can work with the eyes, so I can just brighten up the eyes a bit like this. I can then even change what I'm brightening, so the iris, maybe not the white parts as much. I change the eye reflection, the iris glare. You can really see what's happening here in the eye, so before and after you can remove red veins and you can even add a catch light into her eyes for instance here i already have a catch light so i'm not going to do this but you can add that white spot which really makes the eyes more well alive now here as i said i already have one because it was a studio shoot but i can add a second one for instance indoors like this you know it looks okay so everything to your liking okay now we come to like my favorite feature of ivaro and that is the hair 
adjustment. So first of all, I can fill up the hairline. I can just add a bit of more darkness in here. So it just darkens out the scalp. It's not, it's not as white as it was before. So I'm going to add this a little bit. I can even change you know, the coronal top. I'm going to leave this, but remove stray hairs, as I mentioned in the, in the original video. Now, this is the one feature that for me sells this software alongside with all of these other ones. But this one is, you can see that she has some stray hair around her face. Now I can remove this very easy. So I can even choose how much I want to remove it by shifting the slider back and forth. So let's go right around here. Wow, like before and after, I mean, come on. <laughs> this is like, this is really easy to do if you have Evoto AI. So this is why I strongly recommend this. So if you want to become a portrait photographer or you already are a portrait photographer and you do a lot of photographs, a lot of edits, and you can do everything that I've shown you here in other editing softwares, but here it's faster and it's easier and it's AI controlled, which means that you can batch render or batch apply all of these settings to a whole bunch of photographs. You don't have to go every photograph step by step. You no, know, because every pose is going to be a little bit different here because Evoto recognizes the face, recognizes the facial features. It applies the same adjustments regardless of how the person is turned or where the person is in the frame. If you do this by hand, well, you have to do pretty much every photo separately. So this is really the power of Evoto. Now, before we end this example, I said that I want to clean up the backdrop or even take it away. And you have a dedicated tool for changing the backdrop. So I'm going to click on background removal and now I can take this image and put it on a white website, for instance, and it will be very clean. I can even add a white backdrop or different color backdrops. Let's go with the gray one. I mean, you know, any photo really does a good job like before and after. Yeah, it's literally that easy. And now all I have to do is just click on the export, choose where I want to export this image. And this is where the pricing starts to happen. Now, everything that we've done up until now is completely free. Now you can download Evoto AI for free. You can use all of these features because you only get charged when you export the photo and only when you export it for the first time. So you can change the photo as much as you want, export it as much as you want. You only get charged one credit the first time. And you can buy the credits online. They sit between four and seven cents per credit, which means that's how much it costs for every export. And you find all of these pricing plans there. You can buy a whole bunch of credits. The more you buy, the cheaper they are, but you don't have to buy the software. So the software is free. You only pay once you export the photo. But before we end this video, I did have a few questions in the original video where some of you were asking, okay, it works on one phase, but what if you have more people? Well, I have an example here uh, where there's two people in the frame and Evoto will recognize that there's two people. So I can either choose a male portrait to touching or I can go individually. And here I have now two faces. Now, if there were more faces, I can just choose the one that I want. For instance, here I'm going to choose this guy's face. Now, this is a stock image from the internet. It wasn't taken by me, but I do have a paid subscription so I can use stock images. Sometimes I find them useful more for video, not that much for photography. So here I want to show you the glasses glare removal feature that Evoto AI introduced. And this is really cool because you can just shift this. Now, once you have the face selected, now it makes the eyes pop out more. So before, after, if I take away this face frame. Cool, now very easy. So now you can see the eyes better. So anyway, that's it. Now, if you have any comments or questions, leave that down below. Also use the link in the description and get 30 credits for your first 30 exports with Evoto AI. As I mentioned, Evoto is free to download. All the features are there. You only pay once you export the photo. And if you use the link in the description, you get 30 free exports. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. It really means a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.